In this video, I get stuck in an alley, I pretend to go shopping, Will meets rocket mode, and I find out how easy it is to use a watch to control an e-bike. This is the Fido T2 Longtail, upgraded with a smartwatch, specifically for the bike. It's a brilliant bike, but it could do so much more than I actually showed you. And now, Fido have sent me lots of other accessories that go with this bike. So I'm not gonna bore you with how they go on unless something's a bit interesting or difficult. We're gonna get it all on and I'm gonna show you what it can do, including, and this is the first time I've ever seen this, but a smartwatch called the Fido Mate that's specifically designed to go with this bike. So let's see what that can do too. If you are here though, and you've never seen this bike before, it is worth checking out the review. Maybe watch this first, see if these accessories make you think, oh, that's a bit interesting. And if you like it, go and check out the full review we did a couple of months ago. So I'd love to take you around the bike and show you all the new accessories. But first, the big challenge is to get it out the front. So what we've got is we've actually got a child carrier which has a padded seat now plus a little bag that can go around it. So if you wanted to, you can use the child carrier to carry groceries, things like that. So, you know, you could drop off the kids to school and then you can go straight from school to the shops and bring back some shopping in either the rear or now there used to be a normal size little kind of platform on here. And on that platform, they've put a big tray to be able to put things on. Now this isn't really meant to go on with the seat. I've just got it on with the seat because when the seat's not there, it actually stretches down a bit more, it's a bit more capacity. So that's good. And on the other side, I could turn this already very heavy bike round. We've got a nice little saddle bag, which is quite flat when it's empty, but you can still access these foot pegs that came with the bike that I already had. But when you want to, there's a decent amount of carrying capacity in there as well. I've got one bag on the front tray, I've got two large paper bags on the back tray, and I reckon that is well within the capacity. I reckon if I went shopping and I was doing a proper shop, I could get one massive bag in the front, one really big bag in the back if I wanted to, or four paper bags, so it's very, very impressive to be honest. Obviously, if it's raining, you might want to get like some sort of plastic cover. And also, if you've got a lot of bits, you might want to get some sort of like bungee cord to keep it secured, but they're all pretty cheap. Let us know in the comments what you think you might carry on a bike like this, because it's so cool. Just having a bike transport you around, and it's a nice, powerful bike. I'm very impressed with the Fido T2. So I'm going to go and carry my son around on the bike and see how he feels because he is really upset these days because he used to absolutely love our old Escooter SX250 but we only borrowed that bike, we had to give it back. He was very, very sad to see it go but he absolutely loved it. Oh. Bye, bye. <laughs> so hopefully this Fido T2 upgraded long tail is going to be able to fill in the gap that the SX250 left. Hey Will, yeah. look outside the window. What do you think? I am thinking, how am I meant to put my foot there? If I think maybe <laughs> put your foot at the front. Put your foot at the front and climb in. <laughs> I'll hold it. Oh my, oh, I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, it's shaking. Oh, do you know what I should do as well? What? Turn it off. Right, so fruit in there. Yep, yep. And then putting the other one round. And then in. And you're in. Fits all right, isn't it? And you're about to hold on to the railing. Yeah. Is it comfortable? Yes. How do you feel? Good. Yeah, you like it? Yeah, we're not big except for the right, the right foot problem. The right foot? Yeah. Oh, because the bag? Yeah, the bag's in the way. Yeah, that's only for the video. When we're using it properly, that won't be there. 
<laughs> I feel like I'm a baby in this. Really? Yeah. <laughs> What? The camera's coming into me. <laughs> what do you think of the bike? I really like it. Yeah, are you looking forward to going to school on it? Yeah. Great stuff. I'm looking forward to taking you to school on it. Hopefully tomorrow if it's not raining. So Will, you enjoyed this bike then? Yeah. Well you haven't seen the best bit? What? Rocket mode? What's that? This? Oh! <laughs> 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 Oh my god! This is rocket mode! Woo Let's get out of rocket mode. Yeah, that's crazy. Now the fun part, Will? Yeah. How'd you get off? <laughs> what do you reckon? That's a good question. I. Ta da! Easy. Woohoo! Despite how cool these upgrades undoubtedly are, the star of the show is probably this watch specifically made for this bike now as smart watches go it's all right the resolution isn't massively high but it's good enough it's got your usual kind of settings as in you can do your alarm your stopwatch find your phone now it's also got some watch faces so if i go into settings and screen set you got the one i just had that little thing jellyfish pretty standard ones so yeah, quite a few watch faces built in. Now obviously to get the full functionality of a smartwatch, you need it connected to a phone. To connect it to your phone, you want to use the Fido Smart App, but to get it to connect it to the app, you need to add a device. So let's go ahead and add a device, a device, uh, add, search. So now it's got straight away the Fido S3, which is the phone, and we are connected. Of course, once you've allowed your watch access to things like WhatsApp or Twitter and Facebook, SMS and calls, Instagram, your usual stuff, you're gonna get notifications on your phone whenever you get something come through. So all your usual smart watch type stuff then. One thing I did notice is you can't actually talk to people through the watch when they ring, but for a sub 100 pound watch, that's probably to be expected. The watch comes with two straps, a gray one and a black one. I quite like the gray one. And it comes with a USB charger, which easily connects and charges using the magnets on the back. Okay, so my watch is in normal mode. As Soon as I turn the bike on, the bike's gonna come on. Oh, there we go. And the watch is gonna pretty much, now it's connected, pick up the bike straight away and mirror the screen from the watch we can change the power mode by pressing where it says eco, normal, sport, turbo, turbo plus, and it's mirrored on the bike. Turn on the lights by double clicking the side and off again. A little icon displays on the screen when it comes on and off. There you go, the light appears there. So most of the watch settings are gone once you're connected to the bike because it's all about the bike. So a little swipe left, you can see your Odo, your average speed, your timer, your top speed, how fast you're going, and your trip computers there as well. So where you're going and how, where you've been. Now the thing about this watch is that it's actually a really nice smart watch, but obviously the added bonus is that it connects to your bike. But now I'm on my bike, I've got a bike computer, <laughs> so it's not like the most useful, it's a cool little gadget, it's cool that I can see what I can see there, but at the moment I'm not really fully getting it, I think yeah if you've got a Fido e-bike and you're also wanting to get a smartwatch then it's a decent price, but if you've already got like an Apple watch or a Galaxy watch or something like that. I don't really see the point. It's just kind of cool to be able to say, hey, look, watch me turn my lights on and off. Because I can't change the speed of the bike because I need two hands to do it. So I'm in eco mode right now. And I could go up to normal mode by pressing this button. Or I could take one hand off the thing, press that button to make it come on and then press the screen and now I'm in sport mode maybe you could give it to the passenger and they can just annoy the rider 
Maybe that's the thing. But other than that, very cool, just a bit pointless. Unlike, for example, the Fido app. Now the Fido app that goes with the bike, that is really, really good. So if you had your phone holder and you had your phone here, from the app you can do things like turn rocket mode on and off, or you can lock the bike, or you can turn off the throttle. I think that's really handy to be able to get out of rocket mode and turn off a throttle really, really quickly. If that was on that watch, that would be a really good feature. So this is how I've decided to utilize the bike. I have taken off the front carrier. Main reason is because although I could just about get it out the garden, I couldn't get it back in again, or at least it took me about five minutes and a lot of scratches. I have taken off the back bag, mainly because I do want to use that to take my son around because he absolutely loves it. And I do want to give him more room on the pegs. Also, if I was going to get a bag at the back, I probably wouldn't get that one. It was a bit fiddly to get all the Velcro around there, so I couldn't get it on as well as I would have liked. So I do wonder if it ever got really heavy, it could pull itself off. And you don't want your bag pulling itself off. So I think if you did want standard panniers, I'd get the one that actually rests over the top. So you could just literally just rest it over there and then have your two bags either side it's probably best for weight distribution as well so i've stuck with that and i am a big fan of that to be fair it's a bit awkward for him to get out in and of because he is probably a bit big it's probably more suitable for any kid from around i'd say four as long as you can trust them to hold on and obviously wear a helmet as well up to maybe about 10 at a push you never know though you might be able to get someone bigger on it let us know in the comments if you'd like to see someone bigger on it. But yeah, quite impressed overall. So yeah, that was the Fido T2 Longtail. A very, very versatile bike, but also a very good bike on its own as well. It is very big, very heavy, but it absolutely does its job brilliantly. If you enjoyed this video, do leave us a thumbs up. If you didn't like it at all, thumb it down. If you want to purchase the bike or any of the upgrades, do consider using our links in the description. There are affiliate links, which means it helps the channel if you use them. So thanks for watching. Until next time. Right, say.